The Ponca tribe um, are a people that were originally were Plains Indians, of course. We were removed in uh, the 18, late 1800s to uh, Oklahoma. It was a forceful removal. At that time, um, we were basically incarcerated there. We have been there for 130 some years, I guess now. Um, that's where our culture is flourishing today. our history alive. Our words are made of sparks from our campfires. The old ones gather these sparks and craft stories and songs. The stories speak of a time when game was plentiful and the hunting was good. The songs pay tribute to our brave warriors. The words are given by fathers to their sons so that all generations will know of those who came before them. Mothers give these words to their daughters so that they will know how to coax the willow tree into a basket. Our words are sacred. They tell our story as a people. The words speak of our reverence for the land and their devotion to our Creator. They are our words. Our words on the wind. The feather, for its weight, is the strongest structure in all of nature. How easy it crumbles in the wrong man's hands, who holds no birds as being special. I knew from stories told, men did walk this way before the horse was rode. Yes, the wind does cry way up here, pray. Or die. I knew from the bones far below, from the ground, the mountain tops covered with mist, that the wind swirls like spirits taking form. From the depths far below my reaches, thoughts come forth of pictures of me falling, falling. The theme of spirituality runs through my writings because I come from a very spiritual people. Um, they're constantly um, uh, very prayerful people. They're very open to energies that uh, are around them. That they're very uh, open that uh, you know words have wings, words travel, and thoughts travel. And they're very open to an afterlife as well. When we die, our bodies do feed this earth. When you walk upon this earth, do ever so lightly, please. We are of this earth. When you hold the earth, you feel the spirit we have shared. America, don't you feel me? I'm your native people's son. America, don't you see me? I'm the one with a son in his heart. My mother is of the earth. My father is of the sky. America, don't you know me? I'm the one you've taken my mother from. I wanted to communicate man's uh, relationship to nature from a, a whole different value system that man is not necessarily the top of the food chain. That uh, in a traditional sense of that some animals may well be as powerful as humans are in their own spiritual progression. And so in mythology it was the uh, animals who were first uh, empowered to take care of man. And man broke that covenant with the animals when he reached a point that he thought he was better than the animals. The sun 
giver of life takes back its light, and we are caught holding tight to dreams adrift under the blanket of night. In the lodge, flames asleep in a bed of coals awaken. The shadows crowd those who sit and wait for the words which tell our stories, our history, our ways. They are our words on the wind.